That guy just got mugged. He got his car stolen. But how? How is he getting away? I believe he's using the diesel cycle. My god. I don't understand. Ian, can you explain this to me? Sure. We see it's very simple. Well, we can divide the diesel cycle into four stages. The first, from C to D, we have adiabatic compression. This is where we put work into the system. Next, from D to A, we have isobaric expansion. This is where we inject diesel fuel and the auto ignition produces heat, or QH, which is our hot reservoir. Next, from A to B, we have adiabatic expansion. And in those two stages, from D to A and from A to B, the system produces work. Then, in our final stage, from B to C, we reject heat to the surroundings, QC, which is our coal reservoir, via the exhaust. But what's the difference between the diesel cycle and the auto cycle? Well, the primary difference between the auto cycle and the diesel cycle occurs during the heat addition phase. That's from D to A. Remember, during the diesel cycle, we injected fuel which auto-ignites, producing heat, or QH, which is our hot reservoir. Now, during the auto cycle, from D to A, we have an isochloric phase. This is where we ignite an air and fuel mixture already present with a spark plug. Now, the overall efficiency of both cycles can be represented with these two equations, which relate R, the compression ratio, to eta, which represents efficiency. Now, the overall efficiency for the diesel cycle is greater because the, a diesel engine is capable of reaching a higher compression ratio, or a greater R. Man, I didn't understand any of that. Well, then, uh, go talk to Cody. I'm gonna go see how many hits this mugging gets on YouTube. Cody, you're gonna have to explain this using math. Oh, the diesel cycle. Would you like me to help you derive the equation for efficiency? Yeah, man. Let's take a look, shall we? Here we are, thermal efficiency. As we both know, the thermal efficiency of any cyclic process is found by evaluating how much work we can get for a certain amount of heat input into the process. We also know that for any amount of heat taken in by the process, there's a certain amount of heat that is not converted to work that is deposited in the cold reservoir. So heat from the hot reservoir added to the negative quantity of heat for going into the cold reservoir will equal the amount of work extracted. We also know that for this particular process, our diesel cycle, that the only amount of heat it transferred throughout the entire process is both across the isobaric region and the isochoric region, adiabatic regions of the cyclic process yield no change in heat. From here, it can easily be shown that we can merely model the difference in the heat as the work of the total cycle. So Q sub dA summed with Q sub bc, being the work of the cycle, divided by how much heat is brought into the system, Q sub dA, will yield the same result as the other efficiency equation. So from that, we substitute in for Q sub BC and Q sub DA using the definitions from before, C sub V, T sub C minus T sub B equaling Q of BC, and C sub P, T sub A minus T sub D being the same for Q sub DA. In addition, this graphical representation on the right is not the same as the graphical representation shown in Ian's presentation. The region from B to C and the region from D to A are actually flopped. So we'll just have to imagine that they are for the sake of the derivation. We also know that C sub P over C sub V is equal to gamma. So we can merely substitute 1 over gamma for C sub V over C sub P. Now, from here, we have a really good equation for efficiency. However, Notice that the macroscopic variables that were taken into consideration for the measuring of the efficiency are temperatures. Not a big deal, except for the fact that measuring these temperatures is not all that easy. T sub C, T sub B, T sub A, and T sub D are all singular points 
instantaneous. To measure with accuracy instantaneous temperatures would be quite the hassle if we were to model the efficiency of a diesel engine. Instead, it is much more efficient to model efficiency using compression ratios. Huh, how'd that get in there? So here, we define the compression ratio as V sub C divided by V sub D, and we define the expansion ratio as V sub B over V sub A. This is much more handy to measure, because you don't even actually have to run the diesel cycle in a particular diesel engine in order to get its efficiency. You merely need to measure the volumes of the piston itself. So, from the earlier equation from efficiency in the top left hand corner, we have it defined in the terms of temperatures. We substitute in for T sub C and T sub B using the expressions in the previous slide in terms of the compression ratios and expansion ratios and T sub A and T sub D. Now from here, we need to eliminate the temperatures T sub A and T sub D, for they are still hard to measure. So we're going to use the ideal gas law. We use it with P sub D and P sub A across the isobar, which cancel when dividing the two equations. R also cancels, so you have T sub D and T sub A in terms of V sub D and V sub A. And of course, we can from there, since we know that V sub B and V sub C are equal to each other, when we divide the two compression ratios, they're the same as the volumetric ratios for V sub D and V sub A. Although the compression ratio and expansion ratio themselves may be in terms of V sub C in regard to V sub A and V sub D with regard to V sub C. Finally, we have the efficiency defined in terms of only compression ratio and expansion ratio. Thus, we have an easy equation to work with with regards to the thermal efficiency of the diesel cycle in terms of volumetric measurements. Alrighty, so there you are. That is how you derive the efficiency for the diesel cycle. Sweet. I hope this ends on the final. So what you're saying is, we just decrease the efficiency of this engine, we can catch that guy. Sure. Yes. I think it'd be better off if we called the police, you know, let the professionals handle it, perhaps? No. Thermodynamics. This happens. Man. Fuck. <laughs> 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 it's